Mark, uh, one minute now from uh, time of acquisition on Columbia, uh, now on its uh, 16th revolution around the moon. Columbia, Columbia, this uh, is Houston. Houston Tranquility Base. Uh, we are uh, beginning our EVA prep. Tranquility Base, this is Houston. Roger, copy your beginning EVA prep. Break, break. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston. Reading you loud and clear. Over. Uh, you're loud and clear. The wastewater dump is down to 10 percent. I have a question on the P-22. Uh, do you want me to do another P-22 or was all that information uh, just for my own use in uh, tracking the limp for photographic purposes? Columbia, this is Houston. We request that you perform another P-22. Uh, we rec we'd like you to let the auto optics take care of the tracking and devote your energies to trying to uh, pick out the limb on the lunar surface. Uh, if you can find the, the limb, of course, we're looking for marks on it, but uh, the tracking of geographical features uh, doesn't do us all that much good, over. Okay, fine, I'll do it. And on the uh, ECS system, the, whatever the problem was, uh, seems to have gone away without any uh, changing of J52 sensors or anything like that. My uh, glycol evaporator outlet temp is uh, up above 50 now, and it's uh, quite comfortable in the cockpit, so uh, we'll talk more about that one later. Roger, Columbia. Did you shift into manual control, or did the problem resolve itself under auto control? Over. The problem went away under auto. Roger, that's I the did best type out. Of, uh, auto into, I did cycle out of auto into manual, back into auto. Houston, Roger, out. The uh, capsule communicator you heard there is uh, Bruce McCandless, uh, now on duty. Uh, Cliff Charlesworth's uh, team of green uh, flight controllers, by and large, have returned to the control center at this point. Uh, McCandless talked uh, with both spacecraft, uh, and as you heard, uh, Neil Armstrong uh, reporting from Tranquility Base uh, stated that uh, EVA preparations are now underway. 
At uh, 106 hours, uh, 14 minutes now to the flight, uh, this is Apollo Control, Houston.
Tranquility Base, Tranquility Base. This is Houston, over. Go ahead, Houston. Tranquility, this is Houston. We need a second set of PRD readings so that we may establish a rate, over. Okay, stand by. CDR is reading 11014. LMB is reading uh, 0901, 7 and 3 quarters. Tranquility, this is Houston. We copy your readings out. The reference there uh, is to dosimeter readings uh, from the uh, commander and the lunar module pilot. Uh, you noted the precision of Buzz, Buzz Aldrin on that last reading. At uh, 106 hours, uh, 24 minutes into the flight of Apollo 11, uh, continuing to stand by, this is Apollo Control, Houston.
Columbia, this is Houston. Uh, we're reading you uh, loud with background noise on Omni D. Over. Roger out.
got time, you can. Columbia, this is Houston. Uh, the best we can do on topo features is to advise you to look to the west of the irregularly shaped crater and uh, then work on down to the southwest of it. Over. Columbia, Houston. Another possibility is the southern rim of the southern of the two old-looking craters. Over. Columbia, this is Houston, over. Go ahead. Columbia, this is Houston on your LAM-2 map. Uh, we'd like to confirm the topographical area in which you were looking on this last period of sightings. Uh, as we understand you, uh, you were looking in the vicinity of a Papa Seven uh, to November eighth. Is that correct? Over.
Go ahead, Columbia. One of the craters I was talking about is located exactly at Mike 6.7. Roger, we found that the one. The other one's located at 7. The other one is located at 7.2, uh, two-thirds of the way from Mike to Nan. Uh, Roger, we believe you were looking uh, a little too far to the west and south, over. Describing to you the small bright crater on the rim of the uh, large, fairly old crater would be uh, about Mike point eight and uh, eight point two. Over. Well, just, just give me your, your best estimate as to his location in, in this coordinate system, and I'll put it on my map and go from there. Roger.
Tranquility Base, this is Houston. Can you give us some idea of where you are in the uh, surface checklist at the present time? Over. Okay, we're uh, at the top of page uh, 27. Uh, Roger out. Go ahead, Columbia. Alright, Roger. I finally got you back on Omni D. I've been unsuccessfully trying to get you in the high game. I've gone command reset the process. How do you read me now? Roger, I'm reading you loud with background noise. Understand that's Omni Delta or Omni Bravo, over. Omni Delta and Columbia, this is Houston. Estimate his limb position, his latitude plus decimal seven niner niner, longitude over two plus one one decimal seven three zero. On your chart, uh, we would place this. Stand by the difference. Stand by on the chart and read back on the latitude and longitude. There's not much going on at the present time, Columbia. I'll see what I can do about the relay. Did you know All right. Columbia, this is Houston. Uh, are you aware that Eagle plans uh, the EVA about four hours early? Over. You're somewhere around 108 hours. We'll have uh, an update for you on that a little later. Okay, well, I have heard a word from those guys, and I thought I'd be hearing them through your SBS relay. 
they're, right, they're on about uh, page surface 27 uh, in the checklist, proceeding uh, in good time. Roger, we copy five zero degrees on the glyco on comfort index, fine. This is Houston. Uh, your map coordinates uh, are Papa Decimal 2 and uh, 6 Decimal 3 on the LAM 2 chart. Over. This is Houston. Did you copy the coordinates for the lamb over? Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston. If you read, we request high gain antenna, yaw 180, 
pitch zero. I say again, y'all, one eight zero, pitch zero on the high gain. Over. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston. Do you read over?
Columbia, this is Houston, reading you loud and clear, over. Reading you loud and clear, Bruce. Uh, Roger, Mike. I have the coordinates. What's new? Well, what's new is I think we have some more coordinates for you on the LEM location, over. Ready to copy. Roger, Mike. Papa, decimal two and 6.3 on your LAM2 chart, over. Roger, Papa Decimal 2 and who Decimal 3? 6 Decimal 3, I say again, 6 Decimal 3. Okay, what you're saying is, if you look at the catch bar, then that's just about, uh, oh, uh, his middle finger, a little bit, uh, one to two o'clock from his middle finger, is that right? Uh, Roger, about one to two o'clock from the middle finger, if you're, uh, using twelve o'clock being to the west, over. I got uh, LOS, AOS times for you. Go ahead. Go ahead, Houston. Roger, your LOS at uh, 107 plus 23 plus 08. AOS at 108 plus 09 er plus. Zero six. Uh, next pass for COAS tracking. Your time of closest approach is uh, one zero eight three five two eight. Look three miles south of track. Over. Stand by a minute, please. Okay, because I was looking in the wrong place last time. Auto Optics uh, was not pointing me uh, at the coordinates he gave. Roger. Columbia, this is Houston, over. Go ahead. On your next pass, Columbia, 
Uh, rather than performing a P-22 as such, we'd like you to look in the vicinity of the coordinates that we gave you, uh, which is our best analysis based on uh, math physics and the trajectory. And we also have another set of coordinates that we'd like you to uh, search in the vicinity of, this last one being based on an interpretation of the geological features that were seen by the crew on their way down. The coordinates of this second site are Mike decimal seven and eight decimal zero. I say again, Mike decimal seven and eight decimal zero. Over. Roger, copy uh, Mike decimal seven and eight decimal zero. The only thing is, uh, my best tool for looking is the sextant, and if I'm going to crank the sextant up, might as well have P-22 go at the same time, or, or don't you think so? Uh, Roger, if you want to go that way, uh, crank it up, and then you can drive it around to look where you want. Over. Okay. And if you can find find the limb, then uh, by all means track it or make a note of where it was and we can track it on the next rev. Uh, if you're ready, uh, we have a ref mat update that we can pass up to you at this time to give us pull and accept over. Affirmative, Columbia. Good job. This is Apollo Control at 107 hours, 15 minutes. We'll still have acquisition of Columbia for another eight minutes. All systems in Eagle still looking good. 
cabin pressure 4.86 pounds, showing a temperature of 63 degrees in the Eagle's cabin. Columbia, this is Houston. We're through with the uplink. It's your computer. Roger, thank you. This is Apollo Control. Our best information at this time on the orientation of Eagle, that the plus Z axis, and that's uh, the leg with the ladder on it, is uh, yawed 13 degrees south of the ground track. Uh, the sun uh, behind Eagle with the uh, the leg with the ladder on it in a generally westerly direction along the ground track, but yawed 13 degrees south from that ground track. Go ahead, Columbia. Roger, next pass. I'd appreciate the S-band relay motor. Roger, we're working on that. Uh, there haven't been any transmissions from uh, Tranquility Base uh, since we last talked to you. Uh, we cannot give you a full S-band relay without being assured of high-gain antenna. We're working on the partial relay for you. Over. Okay, I understand, Bruce. Thank you very much.
Columbia, this is Houston. Approximately two minutes to LOS. All your systems are looking good from down here. Over. Columbia, during this pass on the front side, it looked okay to us. This is Apollo Control at 107 hours, 23 minutes, and we've had a loss of signal on Columbia. The clock here in the control center counting down to uh, depressurization time on Eagle shows we're 36 minutes, 39 seconds away from that event. We believe the crew is pretty well on the timeline in the EVA preparations. We will next acquire Columbia at 108 hours, 9 minutes, 6 seconds. And Columbia's closest approach to Eagle on this next revolution will come at 108 hours, 35 minutes, 28 seconds, when it should be 3 miles south of the track.
Houston, Tranquility Base. Go ahead, Tranquility Base. Okay, uh, we are on uh, about the middle of page uh, 28, surface 28. Roger, Tranquility, we copy. This is Apollo Control. Based on that checklist report from Eagle, the crew appears to be about 30 minutes behind the timeline in EVA preparations.
This Apollo Control at 107 hours, 52 minutes. We're 16 minutes away from acquisition of Columbia on its 17th revolution of the moon. We do not at this time have a good estimate for the start of the EVA. We'll have to wait until uh, Eagle's crew, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, give us uh, some more information about how they're coming along in the preparations for the EVA. Indications are now that they are running on the order of uh, 30 minutes behind the, the nominal time preparations timeline, maybe a little bit longer. But we'll have to wait until we hear from them again before uh, we can uh, get a good estimate on the time for starting the EVA. Tranquility Base, this is Houston, over. Roger, go ahead, Houston. Uh, Roger, Tranquility, we're coming up uh, in about six minutes on GET of 108. If you'd like to 
start your event timer, we can give you a hack at 10800, over. Welcome.
Uh, Houston, uh, Tranquility, uh, we're ready to uh, start with the uh, electrical uh, checkout. We're going to uh, S-band modulate FM, over. Roger, Tranquility, this is Houston. We copy, go ahead with the FM, and uh, we missed the mark at uh, 108. Do you want us to try and give you one at 10805, over? Uh, I think we've got the timer going. We've got uh, uh, one minute and 30 seconds mark. Roger, we copy, and you're in sync with us. This is Apollo Control at 108 hours, 2 minutes. This latest report that the crew is beginning the electrical checkout indicates they are about 40 minutes behind the timeline. We will acquire uh, Columbia in 6 minutes. Help you on that? Read it or disconnect or what? Again. Next list electrical umbilical to Let me, uh, that's tight. That's a good, that's straight. Up. Better about. That's got it.
acquisition of Columbia. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston, over. Houston, Columbia, on the high gain, how do you read? Roger, Columbia, reading you loud and clear on the high gain. We have enabled the one-way misfin relay that you requested. The crew of Tranquility Base is currently donning plisses. The uh, LMP has his pliss on, comm checks out, and uh, the CDR is checking his comm out now. Over. Uh, 
Okay, now I'm going to mode select B. Tranquility radio check over. Uh, Roger. Uh, Houston, this is Neil. How do you read? Neil, this is Houston. We're reading, reading you loud and clear. Break, break. Buzz, this is Houston through Tranquility. Over. Roger, Houston. This is Buzz through Tranquility. How do you read? Over. Reading you loud and clear. Buzz, up. Affirmative, Neil. The data that we're receiving looks good, and uh, we are receiving sync pulses and, uh, and uh, a black are. signal on TV. Okay, I, you'll find that the area uh, around the ladder is in a complete dark shadow, so uh, we're going to have some problem uh, with TV. But I'm sure you'll see the you'll get a picture from the lighted uh, horizon. This is Houston, and we copy, and right toward the end of your transmission, after you mentioned lighted horizon, you trailed off down into the noise level, Neil, over. Columbia, this is Houston. Are you reading uh, Tranquility all right on the relay? Over. I believe so. I haven't heard anything uh, from him lately. He's been breaking up, but up until about three minutes ago, I was reading him loud and clear. Roger, it sounds like you're getting it all.
Tranquility Base, this is Houston. Uh, we request you open the TV circuit breaker at the present time. We've had it on about 15 minutes now with the Mesa closed over. Uh, say again, Neil. Uh, Neil, Neil, this is Houston. Uh, I can hear you trying to transmit, however your transmission is breaking up, over. This is Houston. Do you read? Over. Roger, Houston. Uh, this is Buzz. How do you read? Over. Roger. You're coming through uh, loud and clear, Buzz. The beautiful signal. Uh, Neil's got his uh, antenna up now. Uh, let's see if he comes through any better now. Okay, uh, Houston. This is Neil. How do you read? Neil, this is Houston. Reading you beautifully. Uh, we copy your antenna scratching the roof, Roger. Do we have a go for camp and deep rest? They hear everything but that. Houston, uh, this is Tranquility. We're standing by for a go for cabin deep rest. Over. Tranquility Base, this is Houston. You are go for cabin depressurization. Go for cabin depressurization. Roger, thank you. AC supporter valve is closed. Uh, verify cabin fan number one, circuit breaker open. Over. Columbia, this is Houston. Your uh, limb line of sight comm acquisition with the uh, Tranquility Base is 108 plus 2 niner. Uh, LOS is 108 plus 4 2. Over. The circuit really found auto. In auto. Third cab and gas diverter valve to egress. Uh, stand by, please. Stand by, Master Alarm. Light reset. Just the light. Put a bit of light on. Takes a while for the water separator. Maybe. This is Houston. Uh, we'd like you to pull the suit fan Delta P circuit breaker on panel 16. Over.
Roger, I have it. That's what the difference, yeah. Aldrin comment.
This is Houston. The comm is very good. You're coming through loud and clear, and Mike passes on the word that uh, he's receiving you and following your progress with interest.
wonder if we're triggering all the time. I don't think so. Houston, uh, Neil, how do you read? Neil, this is Houston. I read you loud and clear, and I read both the comments that said, I wonder if we're triggering all the time, and I don't think so. Prior to that, it was relatively quiet. Over. Okay, we're hearing a little bit of background noise, and uh, I just wanted to make sure that we weren't uh, continually keyed. It don't sound like it. Houston, would you verify your RCU vent window clear? Over. That's verified. Roger that. Cabin pressures on both vehicles reading 4.9 pounds per square inch. Columbia's temperature 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Eagle's temperature 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Columbia, this is Houston. Any joy on the limb that fast? Over.
that's in it lock. Columbia, this is Houston. Do you read over? Columbia, read you last clear on the uh, St. Charlie. Roger, Columbia, I have uh, LOS and AOS times for you this pass with misspin. LOS, LOS 109er plus 21 plus 12. AOS is coming around the corner. 11007. Three five over. Roger up. Roger up. Thank you. 
Columbia, this is Houston, over. Columbia, go ahead. Uh, Roger, were you successful in spotting the lamb on that pass, over? Okay, if you'd like to look again, uh, next pass, we have a different set of coordinates based on the uh, onboard P-57 solution of the LAM. These are echo decimal 3 and 4 decimal 8. I say again, echo decimal 3, 4 decimal 8. Same chart, over. This is Houston, latitude plus zero decimal five two three, longitude divided by two, one one decimal seven one zero, over. Columbia, this is Houston. We're requesting high gain antenna. Pitch yaw. Uh, pitch zero. Yaw 200. That is pitch zero. Yaw 200. Zero, zero. Over. Roger. 